Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, Wendy William is being slammed by her fans again. This time it's for eating so unhealthy after she shows off her bacon and egg feast on a rare day off. <laughs> now, uh, uh, Wendy Williams, the outspoken talk show host, shared a greasy plate of food with her 1.8 million Instagram followers as the Wendy Williams show took a rare day off from airing. Now, uh, this is what she showed. She wrote alongside the snap of various breakfast foods and meat on top of an English muffin. She said, real egg, real bacon, real muffin, real hungry. What are you eating today, she asked. Now, that didn't go good with her fans. Her fans immediately began responding with their at-home meals, but many took issue with the heart attack-inducing food choices. Now, one person said, that when do you show? Really burnt, really unappealing, really nasty looking. Now, I really got to throw up. <laughs> now, another one said, real heart attack. Girl, by this is exactly why African Americans suffer more from the virus than any other race. We need to eat foods that strengthens our immune system. Mm-hmm. Yes. Another one said, uh, African Americans suffer more from the virus than any other race. We need to eat food that strengthens our immune system, greens, vegetables, fruit-baked foods, as opposed to fried. But live your life. Mm. Now, another one said, she should stop eating all these unhealthy things. It's basically fatty food, all greased up, everything tardy. Isolation doesn't mean unhealthy. Mm. Another one wrote, Wendy, I love you and your show, but people are starved looking for food. When you post on Instagram a huge meal, do you not think about others going hungry every day? Please have a bit more class. Mm. Now, one of Wendy's fans dragged the star for having no class for posting the picture of her meals, as many Americans struggle providing food during the COVID-19. Now, the TV personality had a difficult week as she burst into tears and tried to eat a fake cheeseburger on her TV show on Mutt. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. Now, some viewers suggest that the daytime talk show host's behavior was a sign she's having a breakdown. Now, during her at-home show, Wendy choked up as she looked at a fake glitter hamburger in front of her. She said, I wish that wasn't fake. It looks so delicious. I want to have a bite. It's 100% glitter, but a real pickle. <laughs> now, later in that same segment, she responded to guest and television host Michael Yost's discussion of his experience being diagnosed with coronavirus. Now, he said the disease was serious and people are dying alone. Now, Wendy couldn't keep it together and she began bawling after the interview. That thing about dying alone, I can't even. Now, after her breakdown, a fan tweeted, I'm Wendy Williams is crazy. Watching Wendy at home is a hot ass mess. <laughs> She's crying and just acting strange. Now, another one took to uh, Instagram and said, Ad Wendy Williams needs help. Crying numerous times, looking disheveled. Hashtag Wendy, hashtag Wendy Williams. Mm, mm, mm. And I know one day she had a... Um, she displayed her, her lunch, which was this. It was a uh, uh, baked potato with uh, bacon. And look at it. You can see all the grease just, just, just everywhere. I mean, she didn't even take the grease and pat it off with a towel, a paper towel or anything. I mean, this is, this is uh, unhealthy. And, you know, some fans even were, were saying, I mean, she's been coming on at her home and eating and smacking and eating and and you know fans were saying hey this is not good you're you're smacking you're eating you're eating and talking with food on 
in your mouth. And then she gets slammed on a day off. I guess the uh, <laughs> producer said, well, you know, so we getting all this backlash about Wendy. Let's not do a show today. She goes on Instagram and gets called out. Still showing that uh, greasy ass food. Mm-mm-mm. Wendy, now y'all, I've been told y'all that Wendy needs help. I believe she's relapsed. And, uh, you know, as you can see, everybody else believe that, too. I mean, I understand, you know, thinking of the COVID-19 and people down the low, that is sad. I understand that is sad. But crying over a big fake hamburger that she got in front of her like her best friend has died. Mm-mm. No, 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 no. Something is wrong. And I agree with that fan. She is a hot-ass mess. Mm, mm, mm. All right, guys. Now, if anybody knows uh, Wendy's uh, brother or sister or mother's phone number, uh, please pass it to me because I will call them. They really need, Wendy needs help. Mm -hmm. And, you know, everyone was saying when uh, Wendy and Kevin was getting the divorce, they were saying Kevin was the one, you know, even though he fat shamed her and, you know, it was abusive. But he was the one keeping her in check and in order. And I really believe that now because the girl is, mm, she's not doing well. Mm. All right, guys. Uh, press that comment button if you want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But I still have Wendy on our prayer list, and she ain't getting off of it. Mm -mm. Nope, we gonna still pray for Wendy Reed. Mm. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you will like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, when we part, be blessed, y'all.